Anyway, welcome back to another video. Uh, today is a little bit of an unusual one. We've come to Monson, is it, in Manchester? That's correct, yeah. We're just off Green Lane in Monson. And we've got some great videos planned, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, well, therefore, you know, we've got a bit of an arsenal of stuff at the moment. Which yeah. So make sure, don't forget, subscribe and uh, like this channel yep. for more great videos in and around Manchester and Cheshire and the surrounding areas. So yeah, come with us to Monson. Seen here at Worsley Station is the 1870 The Royal Green Loop Line. Its key function at the line was to support the surrounding collieries in conjunction with the Bridgewater Canal, the largest of which was at Mosley Common, one of the biggest pits in the UK at its prime. Francis Edgerton, the third Duke of Bridgewater, was born in 1736 and died in 1803. He was the pioneer of the inland waterways and also the founder of the British Inland Navigation. The Worsley Canal was built for him by James Brinley to transport coal to Manchester from his mines at Worsley. The unusual design carried the canal by aqueduct over the River Irwell, and on completion the price of coal in Manchester was immediately halved by price, which made him one of the richest noblemen in the country at that time. Old Walkie Dam, the first Earl Aylesmere constructed the Old Walkie Dam as a private boat and fishing lake in the 19th century. The existing dam is the third to be built at this location and the earliest dam being sited east of Delft and which was used to supply power to the mill to grind corn and to power over industrial machines as seen from the water going into this hole. So we've had a fantastic day, haven't we? A fantastic time in Monson. I hope you've enjoyed yourself as well. It's been absolutely superb. Plenty of history about the place as well. There's lots to uh, discover in Manchester, really. Yeah, completely. On completely. the door, you know, you just don't realise, do you? It's on the door and we're in Monson. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well. Like and subscribe and obviously get the opportunity to come over to uh, Worsley Dam. Uh, Which is in the background. In the background. Uh, it was owned by the uh, Duke of Edgerton and it's uh, definitely worth uh, exploring because there's so much to see uh, you've got the loop lines you've got the canals you've got the delf uh, as you go as far as the delf you've got a little cafe over there as well that does little uh, costa coffees lots well. to see great so, loop as well great little walk around absolutely super park as well yeah it has a little park just at the side of us here as well for the kids to play and uh, amazing for the dogs the third duke of bridgewater who is also quite a loner was also known in history as one of the biggest eccentric people of that period, but Edgerton loved his dogs and his favourite were Bijan. 
who also received the honour of joining him at the dinner table. Not just that, but sitting on the chairs with napkins around the neck. So this is where we uh, we end this place anyway in Worsley. This is the Worsley Delph. Yep. As you can see there, Worsley Delph. And it's just on the roundabout. Uh, very easy to get to. It's a nice place to come. So if you're in Manchester and you want to explore, come up here and check it out. And check out the ingenuity as you can just see where my finger is roughly there, the spindle. Yeah. As that used to originate for the bolts that were coming out of the tunnels, it used to spin so they could drop the weights and then disperse them through the tunnels. It's an amazing bit of ingenuity and I think that's around 1700s. Yeah. So thanks for your support, thanks for watching. And from me and Gabs yeah. in Manchester, take care and we'll take see care. you soon. All the best.